How are you doing? It's Jim Alfano with the Brook Team and EXP Realty. Just bringing you my weekly newsletter. I'm going to show you some of the market data for Fairfield County and New Haven counties this week. We're looking at the active under contract and closed deals within the last 30 days. So let's go check it out. Let me know what you think. And if there's any particular towns or price points or types of properties you want me to cover, let me know. Just reply back and I'll make it happen. All right, we're going to take a look at the Fairfield County market data first. We are looking at all the active coming soon listings under contract and any one of them that have closed within the last 30 days. All right, so let's check it out. So here on top, we're going to notice there are 869 active listings in the Fairfield County market and 26 coming soon listings. I'm in another email, I'll show you all the data uh, year over year comparison, but total numbers are very much so down right at the moment. If we look at under contract, continue to show an under contract here. We have 412 properties on the contract, continue to show and 659 under contract without continue to show, which means they're more committed to the deal. When it's continue to show, they're, they're, they're kind of happy with the offer, but probably they're searching for some backup offers and whatnot. And you know, you could see when we look at the median days on market here and they continue to show, it's reflected with the 40 days because it took a little longer to get them on the contract. And the ones that are strongly on the contract are committed, a little more committed when we look at the, that median data, the days on market were at 22. All right, let's scroll down here to the close. We have 682 closed properties in Fairfield County in the last 30 days. Median values we're gonna focus on, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, just under 2,200 square feet. And days on market is 22. Days on market means, in case you do not know, is that when it gets listed on the MLS until the time it goes under contract, not when it's closed. That's until it goes under contract, that's days on market. So it took a little, a day over three weeks for these properties to be exposed to the market as the middle, okay? List price 750 and close price 780 for a 100% list price to sales price ratio. It's very strong for the sellers still very very strong new haven county the pricing levels are going to be different but we're going to be seeing similar dynamics here let's check out new haven county so active in new haven is 611 where it was 682 in fairfield county right so we have active in new haven 611 coming soon 45 in new haven let's check fairfield again coming soon fairfield is 26 so there's more activity on the coming soon end of new haven county and then we're going to scroll down a little here on the contract 467 and 592. So that's the continue to show and the non continue to show 467, 592. If we look down here, so you know, similar in the under contract properties and similarly, we'll find likely that the continue to show ones have a higher medium days on market compared to the under contract without it continuing to show then look at that's dramatic 41 to 11 here so these folks on the contract without the continued to show here are very committed and happy with their offers now we're going to take a look at the closed transactions in new haven county 581 in total. Median bed count is three three bedrooms, right? So a little smaller in New Haven County, 1,500 square feet in New Haven County. Days on market, 12. Let me take a look back at Fairfield with the days on market there. It's an interesting dynamic. 22 days on market. So New Haven County is moving even faster. Look, and I've been seeing that the more affordable properties are like boom, boom, boom. It's more competitive, faster moving. You've got to be very aggressive. Prices are high. They're going to stay high. They're going to appreciate. There's a supply and demand issue. It is what it is. All I can do is help you best navigate it for you and your family. But we're going to look here at one more dynamic before I sign off with the data. New Haven County back here. And, uh, list price is 360. Rounded up a thousand and closed 370. So 
where Fairfield County was 104%, uh, list price to sale price ratio, New Haven is 102%. So they're not going as crazily over value in New Haven County, but still we're definitely going over list pricing. And just to point out too, a lot of the times, the list price is a strategy, not a destination, right? So we're gonna be pricing it sometimes to elicit the most activity for the showings and generate the most interest in the property and therefore get for the sellers the highest return on their sale. All right, let me know what you would like me to cover next week. I look forward to talking to you again and have a great day.